over the years. I had a sawmill and a friend of mine said, since I have a shop that prints labels for people, he wanted some labels printed and I was talking to him about it. He said he was clearing some property down to put up a new building. And uh, I said, well, if you get any oak trees or cherry trees or anything, let me know. Save it for me. Because I said, I get a sawmill and I make a lot of my own furniture and lumber and stuff. But he's the one who was interested in uh, wood turning. And a while later, he comes asking me, he said, gee, he said, I'm into this wood turning stuff now. He said, you don't suppose there's any way you can show me how to glue up a piece to do a wood turning. So we took something together. He turned it and he said, gee, that's pretty good. And it, uh, and it kind of grew from there. And then I went over and I turned a few pieces on his lathe. And uh, I ordered my own lathe. I got to be 70 and a half. I started taking my 401k. So I took out enough to buy the lathe with. And I started experimenting from there on it. This all will drop down and make sure everything's centered mm -hmm. on this. So when it gets onto the lathe, everything is concentric, you know, that it's not off center. Okay. That's not, that it's still symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. But you know, that's why you don't throw them. So they read the gift to people that you really care about, you know, that we could afford them no other way. Or if, if you had a show, Epoxy in there that I floated the floor in that. Mm -hmm. Very different. See, it's, it's hollow underneath. Oh, yeah, you can see right through it. You can see right through it. You got that, and all, of, all these little segments in here are clear, as you can see. Hmm. And, but, this was kicking around here. The company was coming over, and my wife picked it up, and but she turned it upside down on here. And when I did this, this was all glued up as an entire piece, and then turned like this, not a little bit at a time. And those old peach baskets that you get, yeah, was yeah. basically what I had for a model. Mm -hmm. You saw it went downstairs with all the little bits and pieces in it. Yeah. And but because you put that on there, it'll, it'll want to slide off of it. So then I designed this little ring, this keeper ring. That you can put up here. So nice and snug. Make that one snug. Now I put this on top of it, and that can be used like that. This can be used as a fruit bowl, and then in the center of the table piece. This can be used to hold shots or umbrellas or anything else you want to with it. Well, if there's any oak or cherry logs, save them for me because I, I have a sawmill and I could, could use them. And he got into wood turning and he came over and asked me how to glue stuff up. So this was a yellow wood that they had, and as you can see, it's kind of yellow. And I just contrasted the purple heart to the oak, to the black walnut. You know, you would five or six pieces in a ball if you wanted to. And it, uh, this one was helping this one, okay. It has, Yellow wood here has purple heart here, has red oak here. Mm -hmm. Purple heart, yellow wood, you know. And that's also the three or four kinds there. Just to do all that crazy stuff. And it's what? Okay, I got an oak girl here. And this is just regular oak and just black walnut. So there's basically only three kinds of wood there. But it's just the natural color of the wood that you use. You don't, you know, paint or color or do anything else. See, I get a lot of different rings, different segments. I don't know, just stack up and make. But you can see how a bowl would stack up and be become a bowl. You know, you can see like this. So here's a piece of a tiger maple. And that, that'll be a, a top to a bowl. A couple of pieces of wood put together. But when you start to laminate them, you got, see if I laminate something like this. That's the zebra wood that you were looking at the other balls upstairs with. And 
I'll just cut this edge. I save little pieces like this for you know for making rims to get all the different colors and the burls and the cross pieces. 